Have you ever wondered what it's like to be caught in a whirlwind of espionage and mistaken identity with the towering presence of Mount Rushmore as your backdrop? Alfred Hitchcock's 1959 thriller, North by Northwest, takes you on a gripping journey as you follow the unlikely hero, Roger Thornhill, played by Cary Grant, through a labyrinth of suspense and intrigue. This classic film not only showcases the mastery of one of cinema's greatest directors, but also raises questions about the enduring qualities that have made it an everlasting symbol of the industry. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? What enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, before we delve into the intriguing world of North by Northwest, let's kick things off with some random facts about the film, including the unforgettable crop dusting scene and Hitchcock's cameo appearance. Get ready for a ride filled with suspense, mistaken identities, and thrilling adventure as we explore this timeless classic. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and let's continue the conversation about this iconic film. Hit ready to uncover more about North by Northwest, a true masterpiece in the world of cinema. North by Northwest, directed by Alfred Hitchcock in 1959 is a classic thriller that follows the story of Roger Thornhill, played by Cary Grant, an innocent advertising executive who is mistaken for a government agent and subsequently embroiled in a web of espionage and intrigue. The film's origins lie in a screenplay by Ernest Lehman, known for its witty and suspenseful script. The iconic characters in the movie include the charismatic yet hapless Thornhill, the enigmatic femme fatale Eve Kendall, portrayed by Eva Marie Saint, and the relentless antagonist Philip Van Damme, played by James Mason. Hitchcock's unique style is evident throughout the film, with his signature blend of suspense, humor, and visual storytelling. The iconic crop dusting scene and the climax on Mount Rushmore are memorable examples of Hitchcock's masterful direction. North by Northwest has left an indelible mark on popular culture, with its influence seen in various espionage and action films over the years. Its enduring appeal lies in its thrilling narrative, unforgettable set pieces, and Cary Grant's impeccable performance, making it a timeless classic in the world of cinema. In the movie North by Northwest from 1959, there's an interesting tidbit that provides insight into the film's title. When the professor walks on the tarmac to the airplane with Thornhill, there are two airplane stairs behind them. The one closest to the camera says Northwest, while the one partially blocked behind it shows the word North to the left of the word Northwest. This clever visual detail explains the film's title, North by Northwest. It's a subtle yet clever nod that Hitchcock incorporated into the movie. This small but intriguing detail is just one example of Alfred Hitchcock's meticulous attention to visual storytelling in North by Northwest. The film is filled with such masterful touches that contribute to its enduring popularity. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic thriller. In the making of the 1959 movie North by Northwest, screenwriter Ernest Lehman faced a creative challenge. He knew he wanted his hero to be an innocent man, but he couldn't figure out how to get this character into trouble. Sir Alfred Hitchcock came to the rescue with an idea from a New York City newspaperman a government agency creating a non-existent decoy agent to divert attention from a real government agent. With this concept, they crafted the plot, leading to the iconic mistaken identity storyline that forms the core of the film. Hitchcock and Lehman's collaboration not only provided a clever and suspenseful narrative but also introduced a new dimension to the spy thriller genre. The film's enduring popularity owes much to their inventive storytelling, setting the stage for the classic thriller that North by Northwest became. In a Turner Classic Movies interview, screenwriter Ernest Lehman revealed that the working title of the 1959 movie North by Northwest was initially in a northwesterly direction. However, the head of the story department at MGM suggested the title North by Northwest, which Lehman and Alfred Hitchcock adopted, assuming they might come up with something better. Hitchcock even humorously proposed the man in Lincoln's nose, but it was vetoed by the park commissioner. Other working titles included Breathless, in a Northwest direction, and the CIA. Story. The creators initially thought the title was just a placeholder, 
This intriguing tidbit sheds light on the film's title and the creative process behind it, showcasing the collaborative efforts that went into making North by Northwest. In the making of the 1959 movie North by Northwest, journalist Otis L. Guernsey Jr. played a pivotal role in suggesting the premise that would define the film. He drew inspiration from a real-life World War II operation known as Operation Mincemeat, where British intelligence used a cadaver to create a fictitious secret agent with the aim of diverting enemy forces from their planned invasion of Sicily. This ingenious idea of a man mistaken for a non-existent secret agent became the core of North by Northwest. The movie brilliantly brought this concept to life, showcasing the suspense, intrigue, and mistaken identity that have made it a classic thriller. James Mason's dedication to his role in the film was remarkable, even after suffering a severe heart attack shortly after filming ended. Additionally, an interesting detail in the film is that when Eva Marie Saint's character, Eve, claims to be 26 years old in the train dining car scene, she was actually 34 at the time. These intriguing facts shed light on the creative process and the dedication of the cast and crew that went into making North by Northwest the enduring classic it is today. In Franois Truffaut's book-length interview, Hitchcock, Truffaut, Sir Alfred Hitchcock said that MGM wanted this movie cut by 15 minutes so its length would run under two hours. Hitchcock had his agent check his contract, learned that he had absolute control over the final cut, and refused. This decisive stand by Hitchcock ensured that North by Northwest remained the gripping and suspenseful classic we know today, with every scene meticulously crafted to perfection. Hitchcock's unwavering commitment to his vision exemplifies his directorial prowess, making this film a testament to his creative control and dedication. Sir Alfred Hitchcock wanted Grace Kelly for the role of Eve Kendall, even though she was Princess of Monaco. Hitchcock's desire to cast the iconic actress in North by Northwest is a fascinating tidbit in the film's history. However, due to her royal obligations, Grace Kelly couldn't take on the role, leading to Eva Marie Saint's memorable performance as Eve Kendall in the classic thriller. This interesting casting choice sheds light on the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped the movie. It's one of the many intriguing aspects that contribute to the enduring appeal of North by Northwest. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the world of the 1959 movie North by Northwest, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the indelible mark it has left on your cinematic memory. Hitchcock's masterful blend of suspense, humor, and romance woven into a thrilling espionage plot has left us with enduring characters and iconic moments. Did you find yourself caught up in the whirlwind of Roger O. Thornhill's unexpected adventures? Or perhaps you admired the enigmatic charm of Eve Kendall? Maybe it was the suspense-laden crop-dusting scene or the dramatic climax atop Mount Rushmore that sent shivers down your spine. North by Northwest is a tapestry of memorable moments that has resonated with audiences for decades. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, insights, or simply what this film means to you. How has it shaped your perception of classic cinema, or has it sparked a passion for Hitchcock's works? Feel free to engage with fellow enthusiasts, reliving the magic that is North by Northwest. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories about this timeless classic. Keep the conversation alive, and remember, it's all been 